Opening night of the 2011 NBA playoffs concludes in Dallas and American Airlines Center as the Mavericks host the Portland Trailblazers. Dallas, the three seed, won 57 games during the regular season. Portland, the six seed, won 48 games. They split their regular season series two games apiece. Hi everybody, Dave Pash alongside Doris Burke. The last four years. And their opponent tonight, the Portland Trail Blazers, playing well since the trade for Gerald Wallace from Charlotte. They're 6-2 and two against the top four teams in the West since. He'll be joined by Wesley Matthews, Miller, Camby, and LaMarcus Aldridge, who did not make the All-Star team but played like an All-Star this year. And you'll see a lot of uh, Brandon Roy as well, something like that. And for Dallas, Deshaun Stevenson will start at the two-guard. He brings toughness to the table along with kid Marion Nowitzki Jr. Oh. Wow. NBA playoffs concludes in Dallas at American Airlines Center as the Mavericks host the Portland Trailblazers, the 3-6 matchup in the West. And starting for the Blazers, who won 48 games during the regular season, veteran Andre Miller, along with Wesley Matthews, Gerald Wallace, LaMarcus Aldridge, their leading scorer, and Marcus Canby in the middle. For Dallas, Dirk Nowitzki, career 26 points per game in the playoffs, joined by Chandler Marion, 38-year-old Jason Kidd, and Deshaun Stevenson. When we come back, for those of you watching on Classic, you can flip it over to ESPN to watch the rest of the game. Dorisburg, Holly Rowe back in Dallas. Canby's found him. He is especially good when he gives up the basketball. One of the things he does really well to me is make cuts. When he gives up the basketball, they run this play. His alley-oop finish is incredible. They've got to handle him. Eight straight for Aldrich. ESPN's presentation of the NBA playoffs brought to you by Ford Service. See your Ford dealer for expertise, convenience, and value. After giving Portland the lead, LaMarcus Aldridge to add though that he does have when in live action a decent 15-foot jumper. He hit a couple the other night against the Hornets. ESPN's coverage of Major League Baseball continues Sunday and Monday night at Eastern Sunday, Texas and the Yankees. 7 Eastern Monday, it's the Phillies and Brewers. And Haywood missing both there. Can be 11 points. Back to Dallas with Portland head coach Nate. Quarter on either team. Dallas leading Portland in game one by six early second quarter. ESPN's presentation of the NBA playoffs brought to you by AutoZone for the auto parts, accessories, and advice you need. Was that the surprise of the day as we look at our Domino's playoff tracker, or was it Indiana hanging with Chicago up 10 with just a few minutes left before Derrick Rose took over? I think the surprising thing for me was the ease with which Indiana scored in the first half against what has been one of the league's best defensive teams in Chicago. I'll say this to you about Derrick Rose. He's just doing nothing but solidify. Portland is having real trouble keeping Berea from getting off the dribble and into the lane and is creating a lot of things defensively. And the Mavs have a six-point lead over Portland here in game one. Being active in the community and giving back has helped me grow as a person. When you see uh, these war veterans come back, uh, some of them are wounded. Seeing them and seeing what they did for our country and being able to go over and touch them and see the joy and the excitement that they get. That right there, it, it touches you, you know, because they don't have to do it. Uh, it was their choice uh, to serve our country. Uh, we're forever indebted to them, and we thank them. Jason Terry very involved. 
making those cuts to the rim. His points per possession when he makes those cuts, 1.48. It's extraordinary. Led the league in alley-oops during the regular season. Aldridge with 13, Miller with 13. But it's the Mavs on top late in the first half. Hannah, here are some of the other storylines for today. We talked about Derrick Rose, 39 point performance. You get what you expect from the big three with Miami. Dwight Howard, 46 points in the loss. Boy, the Hawks look so bad at the end of the regular season. But they played great tonight. First half for Jason Kidd, 11 points as Dallas leads by 10. Coming up on the Toyota Halftime Show. The Hawks get a road win. Derrick Rose, fantastic at the end of game one. And the Bulls' victory over the Pacers. It's leading by double figures at the end of two quarters of play. Dirk Struggle just 4 12 from the field. Jason Terry, though, and Dallas with a 10 point edge. Six matchup in the West at American Airlines Center in Dallas. The Mavericks trailed by one at the end of a quarter, but now have a 10-point lead as we get ready to start the third. Looking at our Buick Regal game track, Dallas was six of ten from behind the arc and out rebounded Portland. And as usual, 15 points for the bench. They had the top scoring bench during the regular season. They passed to Doris Burke, Holly Rowe here as well. The Marcus Portland team is not going away. And they're back within four early in the third here in Dallas. Everything Goodyear has learned, making tires for All-Star, handling inspires what they roll into yours. Here in Dallas, Dirk Nowitzki, six turnovers, three offensive fouls. Yeah, 8.7 rebounds, but Nate McMillan, this team is doing what they wanted to do. Be physical with him, try to deny his catches. When he does catch it, make the trap. There he gets a little bit frustrated, commits the offensive foul. It's a good little strip steal by, from behind by Wallace. Dirk was looking for the foul. I thought he looked like he, on that instance he got a lot of ball. There have been moments tonight where I think he's had some gripes with the officials, but not in that... 4-13 shooting, gives it up there to Mary, now kid fires, hits another three! <laughs> Playing like a kid, Jason 5 of 7 from behind the arc. Fresh legs equals good shooter. When you're savvy and smart, you played as long as Jason, sometimes it comes easy. ESPN's presentation of the NBA Playoffs, brought to you by Ford Service. See your Ford dealer for expertise, convenience, and... Here's tomorrow on ABC, 3.30 Eastern. It starts with view of Regal NBA Countdown at 3. The Lakers swept the Hornets in four games during the regular season. Kobe's still there. Bill Jackson's still there. Powell's still there. LaMarcus Aldridge. Timeout Dallas. You talked earlier about how he likes to go down in the low block now. He didn't used to. He's a very good player down there. Back in Dallas, the Mavs lead cut to six. Jason Kidd, though, having a great night. Well, timely rest. The strip steal. Wallace puts it on the rim. He just. Beautifully done. And the first lead for Portland since early in the second quarter. ESPN's presentation of the NBA playoffs brought to you by BMW, the ultimate driving machine.
Coverage provided by Goodyear. Sent off a little screen and roll, another dive to the rim. Five different ways you've got to contend with this guy making cuts to the rim. And how about Portland? Well, the Portland Trailblazers in the second half have taken control of this basketball game. Many of their opportunities coming right at the orange. That leads to good field goal percentage. They've got the advantage. L.A. doing work. Where else? On the left box. Pressure getting to Dallas. You could certainly make the case that there's probably more pressure on this field goal percentage this year at 52, but just five of 17 tonight. Don't forget tomorrow more NBA playoff action on ABC. It's game one between the Lakers and Hornets. NBA playoffs and ABC, home of the NBA Finals. Buick Regal NBA countdown gets things going at three. over the game here in the fourth quarter for the Mavs. But we're not done yet. One and a half to go. Four point Dallas lead. Back in Dallas where Dirk Nowitzki is brought in for three. It's good! His sixth three! Who is that kid? 24 points for the 38-year-old Jason Kidd, including six threes. You had relinquished a 10-point lead. People had questioned your toughness, but when you had to have it, you found it, and it's been behind your two veterans, Jason Kidd, Dirk Nowitzki, at least for game one, answering some questions. And the owner, yeah, he thinks it's pretty good. Dallas in command after Jason Kidd's six three-pointer. It's a seven-point Dallas lead. After Portland had a golden opportunity because of the away Portland led 72-66. It's largest lead of the game with six minutes to go. But Dallas behind Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Kidd finish on a 23-9 run to take game one, 89-81. For Doris Burke, Holly Rowe. I'm Dave Pash. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. So long from Dallas, Texas, where the Mavs take game one. Sports Center, right now.